architects have always been able to draw curves and irregular surfaces, but extremely complex form was difficult to draw and hence build. All that changed with computer-aided design, and today that's why we have the unique term and style, blob texture. In classical architecture, the entablature is composed of the cornice, frieze, and architrave, which all sit just above the columns. Each entablature is detailed differently depending on the order, but approximates a third to a quarter the height of the columns. Frank Lloyd Wright designed and built his own home and studio in 1889 in Oak Park, Illinois. He was only 22 years old and a newlywed at the time. The Wrights had six children. The home was originally smaller and renovated extensively over the years. David Childs of Skidmore Owings and Merrill designed One World Trade Center. The building replaces two that were destroyed by terrorism. Unlike the original towers, the 104-story building tapers toward the top. It took about eight years to build. Le Corbusier, the Swiss-French modernist, developed a metal hand stencil for his drawings that is still popular to this day. The industrial typeface is reminiscent of machine-like fonts used by the French at the time it was developed. The device of perspective has been used for hundreds of years to create images that match how people view objects. And while hand-drawn perspective is a dying art, understanding what to show and how to show it will always remain critical to the architect and client. Before the computer, drawing was done by hand. This small piece of plastic was one of the most recent ways architects created parallel guidelines to hand letter. The various holes are simply used to create various space lines for letters and words on a page.